What if I told you that one man, born into poverty and adversity, would create the largest contiguous empire in history? This is the tale of Genghis Khan. In the unforgiving landscape of the Mongolian steppe, a child named Temujin, later known as Genghis Khan, was born into a nomadic tribe around the year 1162. His early life was marked by harsh conditions and constant battles for survival. His father, a tribal leader, was poisoned when Temujin was just nine years old, forcing him into an early struggle for power and survival. Life on the steppe was not for the faint of heart. It demanded resilience, cunning and a relentless will to live. Timujin was no stranger to these trials. He was captured, enslaved and later escaped, each experience chiseling away at the boy, moulding him into the man who would one day stand as the Great Khan. From these humble beginnings a leader was forged, one who would reshape the world. Scene script. Genghis Khan was not born a ruler, but he seized destiny with both hands. Born as Temujin, he grew up in a world of tribal warfare, where survival was the only law. But Temujin was not one to merely survive, he was born to conquer. Through a combination of strategic alliances, marriages and military victories, he began to unify the disparate Mongol tribes under his leadership. His rise to power was not a peaceful one. It was a tumultuous journey marked by key battles that shaped the course of history. The Battle of Dalan Baljhut was one such conflict. Temujin, barely 20 years old, faced the formidable Tatar army. Despite being heavily outnumbered, he turned the tides of the battle in his favor with his innovative military strategies. He introduced the decimal system in his army, a radical departure from the tribal organization. This allowed for greater mobility, flexibility and command control. He also harnessed the power of psychological warfare, using fear as a weapon to demoralize his enemies. By the time he was declared Genghis Khan, the universal ruler, he had unified the Mongol tribes into a formidable military force. His innovative strategies had not only changed the face of warfare, but had also laid the foundation for the largest contiguous empire in history. His leadership and tactical genius had created a force that seemed unstoppable, and this was just the beginning. At its zenith, the Mongolian Empire stretched from Eastern Europe to the Sea of Japan, an expanse of land unmatched in history. This vast realm was the dominion of a single man, Genghis Khan, whose military genius was matched only by his administrative prowess. Unlike conquerors who sought to erase the cultures of those they defeated, Genghis Khan adopted a different approach. He allowed the conquered people to retain their customs and religions, provided they pledged allegiance to him. This policy of relative tolerance fostered a sense of unity and cooperation within his diverse empire. Genghis Khan was not just a warrior, but a visionary who saw the benefits of a global interconnected network. He established trade routes that linked the East and the West, creating a conduit for the exchange of goods, ideas and knowledge. These routes, famously known as the Silk Road, became the lifeblood of his empire, facilitating economic growth and cultural exchange. Moreover, recognizing the power of communication, Genghis Khan introduced a written language for the Mongols. This was a significant move towards unifying his people and facilitating efficient governance. For the first time, the Mongols had a language that was their own, a symbol of their identity and strength. Genghis Khan's empire was not just a testament to his military might, but also his administrative acumen and vision. He built not just an empire, but a legacy that reshaped the world, leaving an indelible mark on history. Genghis Khan passed away in 1227, but his legacy endures even today. His influence permeates the annals of history, shaping the course of civilization as we know it. His descendants carried the torch, expanding and maintaining the Mongolian Empire, even after his demise. His grandsons, Kublai Khan and Hulagu Khan, went on to establish their own dynasties, the Yuan dynasty in China and the Ilkhanate in Persia, respectively. The Mongolian Empire, under Genghis Khan's leadership, revolutionized communication with the establishment of the Silk Road, promoting trade and cultural exchange. 
Fast forward to present times, his legacy echoes in modern military strategy, political structure and cultural diversity. Genghis Khan, a man who emerged from the harsh steppes of Mongolia to etch his name into the annals of world history. His story serves as a potent reminder that even the most humble beginnings can lead to unparalleled greatness. Genghis Khan, a man of humble origins who rose to command the largest empire the world has ever seen, a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity.